Hello, Nana here. Oh, welcome back to Path of Exile. We're playing in the Harbinger League as our solo self found dark backed necromancer. And today, we're finally gonna do the Eternal Labyrinth. Took me only 22, or actually 20, uh, different trials to get the sixth the statue, or the sixth uh, trial. So now I can run this one more or less much more than I would want to. So, let's see. I do have on the other screen uh, PoE Lab open, so I roughly know where to go. Uh, more importantly, roughly know where to go to uh, ensure that I do find Argus on my way through, because it's it's a free key, and should be able to deal with him rather well. So level 75 area, I am still level 88. I wonder if I'm ever actually gonna hit 89. So it doesn't really matter how close I get to 89. At some point there is gonna be either just a moment of where I don't pay attention and I die. Or there's gonna be something interesting like a malformation boss that also has a harbinger in the boss room. Which I, I, I can assure you is not a, a very swell combination. Uh... So for our first run through, we're gonna head more or less to the to the top. It's uh, what it looks like. The end game lab has more traps while playing, and also the uh, totems with curses that we have seen in the end game trials. And more of the different um, modifiers and, and um, trial effects, I guess you should call them, are going to be in the rotation. So it's it's overall it's going to be more difficult than the uh, endgame version. It used to be that all the labyrinths were basically the, the same uh, intensity. It was just uh, the, diff the level that was different. And I think it was with 3.0 where they rebalanced things. So the earlier trials, the not endgame version, are much easier. So this is uh, going to be a bit of a blast from the past. Having a look at what a real labyrinth is going to feel like rather than the uh, shortened and tuned down versions that we are used to now. And that we are pretty much enjoying right now, I must add. Sanitorium passage. This should be the one that leads up exactly. So there's gonna be a, a fluffy somewhere here. Huh? And also a silver. Wonderful. I'm sure we could use that at some point. So the area level is 75, that puts it at about tier 8 in terms of, of maps. But of course the uh, bosses here are going to be a bit more difficult than the uh, usual tier 8 map bosses. I mean a, a bog, this is not, or barrows. Let's disable the thing here, then we can just push through. Uh, yes, Wish is the uh, technical name for it. Come on. Uh, you want to. And also the, the damage that you take from the trap is not that bad actually. And there we have ourselves a silver key. Where there's a silver key, there must be a silver door. Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, and that's... Look for Argus, shall we? Come on, yep. Okay, so... The exit is gonna be somewhere in the top right over here. 
we started in the bottom right, so I suspect Argus is going to be in the top left. That would put it, uh, give it most space, so to say, for the arena. Enjoy your little treat, my dear. Hello there, Argus. Here, be taunted. So just uh, curse you a bit and then push. This is what some withering does for you, it massively increases your damage. And then we can march to the exit, which conveniently is located over here. Estate crossing. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Trying to make a habit out of not tanking things when I really don't have, uh, when I shouldn't be basically, which, well, I basically should never be tanking things. Hello there, Ghosty. Hey, hello, Rare. Oh, seriously. Of course that happens. Well, getting a, a six socket as a, as a comfort prize, so there's that. Um, there's going to be a golden key somewhere to the... And a golden door, of course, because they do go together. That's going to be top right uh, and to the right, respectively. I think there was a, a, an orb that sounded from far away. Exactly. Positional sounds. I do like it. Okay. This is somewhere to the right hand side. Estate walkways. Yeah, oh, that's the way back. That was not entirely the plan. Then we must go further up still. And the general rule that you know, the way forward leads up is... Or the way up leads forward is... So far, still holding up. And there we go. Oh no, it is a golden door. I am so surprised by this. It's pretty much next to where we entered. And then this leads us to where the golden door is. Or the golden key, rather. So, what we're going to go through, might as well just have a, a bit of a, a chat about the different options that we have for our eight ascendancy points if you know what things go according to plan we actually end up with eight points which is pretty rare i think this is actually my my second time ever doing the end game lab but at least it's going to be then the, the the second league least league Blah. i i rarely am lucky enough to unlock all the trials and well it took me six, uh, six, uh, 20 different trials to find all six combinations, so uh, th that, that kind of luck has been rather consistent for me across the time. And most of the time I simply don't spend enough time in maps to even uh, get to enough trials to uh, perform the unlocking. As I said, so things have been changed a bit, so I'm overleveled, the, oh, I'm 88. Overleveled, so that should help quite a bit. But we actually do have the uh, two choices we, we have now. Ooh, a secret passage. Uh, quickly highlight the options. We have a Flashbinder. You and your minions have 1% additional physical damage reduced for each zombie you own. But the path leading here gives our minions 10% increased life and the damage bonus. So more life for our skeletons means more dark pack damage. 
And the other option here is Chaos Resistance and Minion Damage. And then Beacon of Corruption, which is Chaos Damage, Chaos Resist, Minion Chaos Resist, and finally, my favorite, Minions Spread Caustic Clouds on death, dealing percent 10 percent of their maximum life as Chaos Damage per second. Uh, and I don't think I want to go through. I oh, did a bit of a, a math comparing the numbers here and the 10% damage bonus or uh, 10% life bonus from the uh, flash binder is not gonna affect DPS enough to matter all that much it, it's gonna improve my, my damage a little bit but the uh, beacon of corruption with cost of clouds is gonna be much stronger in terms of damage bonus so that kind of makes it easy, especially considering I don't use zombies right now. So the bonus from Flashbinder, no, the physical damage reduction, which goes up to 8% for 8 zombies. Or 7, I guess, because since I did ditch one. That would be kind of wasted. Yeah, we are at the key here. Uh, that's the way out. Ah, this needs to be approached from this angle. So, yeah, uh, there's only one real option, and that is going to be Beacon of Corruption. We're not really, really capitalizing on the uh, the Beacon of Corruption cost the cloud damage all that much. But it's, uh, it's alright enough. Ah, oh, there's more. Okay, just focusing a little bit on the trial since I don't want to die on this run. That would be decidedly bad. Where there's a golden key, Wonderful. There must be a golden door. Wonderful, wonderful. Survive that, got the key, then we can move forward. Then uh, Zaro is gonna be pretty soon. So, yeah, uh, the beacon of corruption, it uh, will be. Gold is the most liberating of metals. And from what I could tell, the, 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 the base DPS bonus of the uh, cost of clouds, of the, the base DPS of the cost of clouds will be around 2000 DPS for the skeletons. And that's because they simply don't have that much life and I'm not boosting their damage oh, all that much. The weary traveler draws close to the end of the path. Let's do this. The first trial is gonna be lieutenants. An emperor is only as efficient as those he commands. Who? I think we should be able to deal with. Claw your way to the top. Well, for the first time, screw. I don't know. I'm half a mind now to just keep some of the bonuses here so we get an extra key on the other hand maybe for the first time through i should not do it fancy and i should just focus on completing it it's probably the the most prudent thing to do withstand the siege okay that's one down I don't want to, um, I do everything myself. Yeah, have yourself, have yourself a totem. Skellies. Don't give up yet. Cursing. Ooh. It's probably a very good training for me to just Such work on my mobility. Okay, that's one first time. Determination down. overcomes domination. This is the one law of sovereignty. Okay, 
I think my uh, flame dash skills will vastly improve after I've done 20 of these things. Uh, this is maybe not the best place. Uh, not so. Look at the map, and it's gonna be to the top right that leads us forward. Not to the top, top. Oh! Dark Shrine. Uh, let's see. Put some skellies up so we can just work that one down from the inside. Secret switch. Ooh. That is unexpected. Uh, of course my timing is off. Uh, of course my timing is off. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so... We actually needed uh, the lever off from uh, the other side. Wonderful. Whoa, 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 Okay. So, I thought I was being clever by finding that and going through, but turns out it wasn't really all that helpful. And uh, we're already here. Okay. Got a lever. Good thing is there's plenty of minions here to help me recharge my flasks. Okay, this is a bit more gentle. Another door out. Hello there, Iron Fangs. Okay, just make it in here so we don't get skewered. Of course they're gonna animate. Okay. Curious lockbox, that's also fine. It's a reward nonetheless. Definitely use a couple of more chaos orbs. Okay, so there was not a dark shrine here, but it was a was a box. Or is it a, a two for one? Before we run back, let's just explore this. There is an exit here. Where is it leading? Leads to the right, that is the way forward, so I am happy with that. I mean, there's gonna be a bunch of dark shrines here. When I run into them, I'm gonna do them. If I don't, then, well, I don't. As I said, my first priority here is to simply make it through the entire ordeal in one piece. Let's see, increase quantity, rares, four additional items, and explodes and revives. So you know what, we'll just explode the corpses here with our flesh offering. Get some uh, skellies up, a distraction totem, and then move out, and then we just shoot the barrel. There we go, a free chisel. And all the scraps we could ever want. Times crank, okay, wonderful. Uh. Cool, and uh, the door is still open. I mean, I'm assuming that the crank was for this door here.
Okay. Uh, three layers. Oh, could have set that up slightly better. Having a, a level advantage over the enemy does allow me to be a little sloppy. No, no reason to be sloppy, but... Does mean I can get away with it. And we want to head for the top right again. So let's take this exit. And there is the trial. Wonderful. When the time comes to strike, an emperor strikes without hesitation. To entertain doubt is to dance with death. Yeah. The second one is going to be the fonts, cursing fonts. It is the sovereign Wonderful. who empowers the scepter, not the other way round. Okay, you're going to get yourself a distraction totem and a bunch of skellies, and then of course you're still going to go for me. Not a big fan of having curses on me as I do boss fights like that, especially not after most of the rips in maps are on maps where I am cursed and no, taking either more damage than expected or just being slower due to temp change. One day, even the great scepter of God shall fall. Jew, that was way too freaking close. So. Basically, that is why I <laughs> don't want to be cursed, since that only makes things much more difficult, and then close encounters like that are gonna be lethal. Usually when he speaks, he's done, but he's just blurting out. By the goddess, what ambition! Okay. Sweep the trappings of past emperors aside. Make your empire anew. This got closer than I would have liked it to. Much closer than I would have liked it to. And let's see, we can go up here so basically the mostly the, the path i usually would have taken anyway Let's, uh, um, it's a door but there is a lever around the corner so, so look ah that's actually there was still something in the way. Uh. Oh, come on. Uh. Oh, these were on this side. it's true almost made it true I mean and there we are a uh, ghost with a fancy aura embezzler well you're not embezzling anyone anything anywhere okay there's a a door here that leads us up, which is indeed where we want to go. And then to the top left is going to be the way forward. Hello, ghosty. Spy ghost. I, mean, I don't really have a lot of faith that in all of these uh, 
twisty turny levels the boss is or the ghost is gonna find a rare so just Uh. Okay. There we go. That was definitely more intense than the uh, previous laps. At least that's that's what it feels like. Oh, uh, it's just a, a normal shrine. Yeah, that's not really going to help. But we did find the uh, third trial. Afford to be promising. An emperor must keep. Those promises. So, fonts are not there. That is good. And prophecy kicked in. I will defeat this Zoro, so... Uh, hope the prophecy is not jinxing it. We're gonna get blade sentries and spike traps. So, mobility will be limited here. So, let's do this. Okay, there's also some slowdowns. Okay, so they are going over the uh, worn out tracks. The Empire awaits you with open jaws. Some bleeding in the back. Show me your resolve. Okay. Uh, wrong hotkeys. Can't afford too many of those mistakes. Make your mark. Uh, be distracted, please. Please. Swapping places with him, not a bad idea. Oops. Got him. Ah. <laughs> ah, this is uh, definitely still gets the good old adrenaline pumping. And that was end a game labyrinth. Nothing nasty, hiding in the back. The Vine Font will get to you, but first, the important thing, let's ascend. We have achieved ascension. That is also yet another uh, achievement crossed off of the list. We're going to become or get ourselves a beacon of corruption. It's also nice for just boosting our chaos resistance so we can afford to drop some more from our gear. And our minions are now caustic as hell. Which is not a bad thing for those fights where the skeletons simply just seem to melt without really giving me the opportunity to cast dark packs. Then at least there's going to be a little bit of degeneration by them just covering the arena in these wonderful green caustic clouds. So now that's yet another weapon in our arsenal. Next up, the Divine Vault. We get two enchants. Um, the enchants replace the implicit, so in this case I'm using fingerless gloves which have spell damage. If you enchant them, you lose that. Uh, these boots don't have anything, and this helmet has a useless arctic breath. But So for now, we get two uses of this thanks to the prophecy, so we're going to put something on our boots. Increase critical chance if you haven't crit recently. Is that actually going to have any effect? Because I'm using controlled destruction to reduce my crit chance a bit. Okay, it's 6.5% rather than the built in, than the usual 5%. Uh, and that's because now you simply lose 100%. So this one effectively gives me 20 on top of the little bits I've got from other places. It's probably better ones to get, but for now it is something. Let's see if we can get something useful on our helmet. And we will replace it. And what do we get? 40% increased detonate and dead damage. That's it, it affects the dead. That is something positive. But that's also all there is to it. So we got three treasure keys from the run. So let's open up some things. Ooh. 
We got two more keys, and we got a. Is that Rise of the Phoenix? That's a Rise of the Phoenix. Cool. Increase fire resist on low life. Can't be ignited on low life. Some regen. Max fire resist. This is for uh, Righteous Fire. I think it used to be a required piece for a Righteous Fire build. Now it's just a very nice optional piece of a Righteous Fire build. Uh, just pick up the things now. Let's see. Another box. Just a bunch of garbage. An orb of oh, immense. Oh. Is that Asenovs? That's Asenovs. Okay. Jump color prism. I do appreciate those. It's the five linked, five socketed uh, armor. Armor, armor. But yeah. So all in all, for a, a first run. No, I, as I said, I'm, I intentionally tried to just take as many of the threats away, so I could just simply focus on. Ooh, corrupted stash. Oh, focus on getting through, getting my ascendancy. That's not taken care of, so I can use the remainder of the, uh, what is it? Uh, 12 down, nine up, so that's another 21 of these things that I can run. So, oh, it's gonna be pretty decent for a loot, I suspect. And it might actually help me gain a little bit of experience as well. Of course, I, I do also have a nice growing collection of unique maps that I'll be running in the nearby future as well. I, for some reason, I keep getting death and taxes from the uh, from the uh, divination, uh, the corrupted map divination uh, combo. But I guess that that means I have plenty of opportunities to practice this run in case the first one fails. But with that, I'm gonna thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you again next time. Bye bye.